Hey, Gina. Hey, Byron. So here we are, finally press and play yep. on the camera Yep. to start talking about and expanding on all the visions, all the ideas, all the things we've talked about for months. Yep. Yep. And we finally get to put it on camera. And what have we been talking about? Well, we've talked about getting the message about alternative healing, uh, methods of alternative healing, simplified methods to self-heal at home, heal loved ones, friends, family members at home with basically all the methods that have become commonplace, uh, things we hear about regularly um, right. nowadays. Right. And in your practice, you do a lot of these modalities, but what is it that has motivated us to create this channel? Is it, are we trying to not only show people what they can do in, have done in your office, but how they can bring it and work within themselves and their family members, right? Like, Well, yeah, definitely. Um, obviously in an acupuncture office setting, you're going to get needles, but the, the lay person or the patient going home can use acupressure techniques on family members on themselves actually right. um, meditation and breathing techniques um, qigong exercises yeah. well you being a reiki master um, there's a lot of self-healing that can be done with reiki energetically yeah absolutely and i know a lot of the things that you and i have talked about is Oftentimes patients will come in and, and have a session and then go home and go right back into their extra stressful, busy lifestyle, maybe navigating challenges with children and spouses and things to where it raises their stress levels back up and almost counters the treatments that you're offering for them. So like we've talked about many times that if your patients not only receive a treatment from you, but can go home and enhance their own treatments themselves, by way of acupressure or any type of energy movement or things that we're going to bring breathing on. breathing techniques yeah visualization uh, manifesting manifesting positive Ide positive thinking ideas positive thinking positive thoughts um, and what you said about extending uh, i always say to patients you know how much mileage are you getting out of the treatment right. did it last a day were you able to get four or five days or sometimes a week or two weeks right out of a treatment so in this series we want to talk about almost anything and everything from reiki cupping uh, the difference between traditional fire cupping and the home um, plastic or pump style cups which are actually highly effective um, we've talked right. about doing reiki Yep. We're talking about chakras, chakra balancing, um, stones. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the healing power of selenite. Oh, there's been so many different We've had a lot. ideas. We probably have about 30 to 50 <laughs> little snippets of things we want to present on this channel, then would obviously be looking for feedback and uh, people saying, hey, Byron, hey, Gina, can you tell us more about this? Uh, demonstrate that. Uh, there's a lot of acupressure techniques that can be just real simply done five or ten minutes on your spouse, your kids, uh, for sinus treatments, headache treatments, uh, the pain of cramps. Um, so a lot of acupressure techniques can be done. Right, right. And then like you had brought up about positive thinking and manifesting and energy movement, I mean, the more that we learn how to think positive and not only to others speak compassionately and kindly, but speak that way to ourselves. So something as simple as waking up in the morning and saying, oh, I can't stand my hair today, or I, I dislike this about myself, your internal self is feeling that. So you know, that's something that you and I have spent a lot of months kind of talking about and, and learning together to reframe not only the way we speak to others, but the way that we speak to ourselves so that we can, like Byron says, get more mileage out of any treatment that you're receiving, whether it is a Reiki energy session or an acupuncture session, 
um, you just you're extending all of the positive vibes that you can feel about yourself and that's that's what we try to do or what we're trying to do with this series is right and really trying to present what Gina's been talking about for months is is finding the joy in everything uh, the joy in every minute the joy in every experience the joy in every day because we do have a choice of how we receive information how we perceive information and then how we react to that information so we'll uh we really look forward to getting this going and starting to show different different videos and and segments um we're, we're looking at calling this b and g for byron and gina and um hopefully you'll follow every channel every video we put up Yes, yes. Thank you for watching and, and hit subscribe because I think this is going on YouTube. We're not sure yet. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.